by the time this video goes up, it will be 2020. Let's look back at the last 10 years of my writing. I went through every single journal that I have going back through 2010. And one thing I noticed when I was looking back is that at the beginning of the decade, I actually didn't write that much. I'd actually quit writing in college for a lot of different reasons. So at the start of the decade, when 2010 rolled around, I, I wasn't writing. Still, the early part of the decade was very good to me. I got hitched. Aww. Got a job teaching math. All right, everybody, I'm your instructor. Let's talk about why logarithms are insane. And started being an adult. I still had stories that I wanted to tell. They were still niggling around in the back of my head. Gradually, with the encouragement and nudging of my wife, I slowly worked up the courage. Stuff didn't really get started for me writing-wise until... In 2012, I started writing my first book in almost five or six years at that point. It was called Dead Eyes. It was my attempt at sort of a supernatural thriller. I just was trying something. It was a first attempt at a book, and it was actually the first time I got to the end. My ill-fated fantasy novel never had an ending that I was satisfied with. And yet, despite having written an entire book, I didn't feel comfortable calling myself a writer. A big turning point for me personally came in I went to a convention, Conquest 46, with guests of honor Brandon Sanderson and George R.R. R. Martin. For me, this was huge. I cannot state enough how important this convention was to me. I still remember sitting in the lobby, not going to any panels or anything, just flipping through this catalog and seeing so many authors in there, people who were dentists, doctors, teachers, people with day jobs who wrote. It was real. You just had to write the books. Also, I got to sit and play magic with Brandon Sanderson. Dude is super chill and really nice. Plus, on top of that, we met two of our best friends. We're still great friends to this day. The project that I was working on alongside this was a historical fantasy novel. Uh, wizards wanted to kill Lincoln before he was inaugurated. It, it, was, it was a fun story. I dove into this draft with gusto after that convention, after meeting Sanderson, and I got stuck. To get through this block, I actually ended up diving in and reading dozens of craft books about writing, anything I could get my hands on, and it really helped me level up. I suddenly understood and could articulate a lot of the problems I'd been having before. I finished the third draft of that historical fantasy, but I'm also pulling my hair out because it went six or eight months, way longer than I expected. I dove into a small little side project, and that side project would become Stars of Steel and Iron. It's Firefly meets Pacific Rim. It makes my inner 12-year-old happy. This is the first book that I felt like I actually had all of the basics I am working on rewriting my giant robot novel and polishing it while also intermittently taking large multi-month breaks from writing because I am taking and failing actuary exams. Towards the end of 2017, something really cool happened. Good afternoon, writers. Happy Tuesday. This is a very special Tuesday. These videos. I still remember my initial filming setup. It was propped up on a cat stand with some books. I had a little mini tripod. This is actually what I started filming on. My wife's cell phone, because mine did not actually work with the tiny little $20 lav mic that I bought, and a tiny little flexible tripod. No elaborate gear, no fancy camera, no fancy lights. It was just this kind of kit, this basic little stuff. I 
I finished up Stars of Steel and Iron completely. I also started working on my next novel, a little homage to tabletop role-playing games called Treasure Hunt. Twenty nineteen was the year of querying the giant robot novel. I sent out over three dozen queries when I got my first rejection. I was ecstatic because that meant that I had been putting myself out there, that it was in a position to put out there. I also wrote fifty thousand words of my musketeer novel. That's the story, the timeline of this last decade in writing for me. That said, you also know I'm a math guy, I'm a numbers guy. I've also got some numbers for you. In the past ten years, I have written over a half a million words. I've also read 574 books. Since 2015, I have spent over a thousand hours working on my craft, working just on my writing. I don't know how much time I spent leading up to 2015, because uh, I didn't keep logs back then, but it, it's been a thousand hours. I've also made 108 videos. That's over 12 hours of content. I also grew as a professional throughout this decade. My very first thing that I got paid for for writing was actually a guest blog post. I'll, I'll put a link down below to it for the Gnome Stew, a, a delightful blog. And I got an honorarium of five dollars. Five dollars. Since then, I've also had two different bits of freelance work published for gaming companies. Actually, I've got Hold on. These. Not all of this, obviously. This isn't all me, but this is actually the first freelance stuff I did. Uh, it's like a big centipede thing. It's not the only one. I had another one, too. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's a giant fungus monster. I did all the text for this monster, all the stats, all the descriptions for it. I also got my first short fiction published. This is the Itty Bitty Writing Space Anthology. This is an anthology of flash fiction. Not really, where is it? Aha, there it is. The Bulletproof Cheesemaker. Ah, here, here, let's see if I can focus on it. It's a fun little story. If you've considered writing, if you're worried you're not good enough, start. Try it. It took me 10 years to get where I'm at. And I, I, I don't tell you that to scare you. I tell you because if you're working on something and you just don't feel like you're good enough, or if you're scared you won't be good enough, or if it's too late to start, it's, it's really not. I, I didn't get here overnight. I got here by doing a lot of persistent, steady work day in and day out, week in and week out for a decade. I wrote a lot of really crappy books to get here. If you're worried, just know your story matters and it's not too late to start it. That's been my decade. I, I, in 2010, I couldn't have even imagined where I would be. I just, I couldn't have imagined where I would be, you know, that I'd, I'd be paid for my writing at this point, that I have a book I'm ready to share, um, that I've, I've made such good friends with here, Twitter. It's just been a long decade, you know? There was me back then really, really wanting this and not knowing how, not having the confidence to go out and go after it. And <laughs> 10 years later, here I am. I, I'm just beyond floored. And I'm so excited uh, for this coming decade because you know, I've got my giant robot novel. I've got the Musketeer story. I've got so many more stories to share with you all. And I, I don't know what the next 10 years will be. I don't know where this channel will be at in 10 years. I don't know where my writing will be at, but I'm really, really excited to find out. <laughs>